In this video we are going to talk about the strategies that are used for competitive resource dependencies. So at first let's draw ourselves a situation that uh, these competitive resource dependencies involve. So we have got one producer of some scarce resource. So this is the producer and he is producing scarce resource. Resource. Maybe he is the only one who is producing this resource. And now there are two companies. So here is our company, this we are, and this is our competitor, so competitor. So before we begin, we conclude that in the last video we have talked about the symbiotic, so that the output from our producer is the input for our company. But in these, these relationships we care about the interdependency or the interrelationship between these two companies that are competing for this resource. So we are competitive. Competitive. And now, from the beginning, what what is the reason or why companies would like to manage this relationship? So why not to be competitive? To be competitive. And the, the reasons which are there are quite important and they are quite obvious. At the first and in the beginning, the companies will always make more profit when they coordinate their activities. So, firms always make more profit, make more profit when they coordinate, when they coordinate, then compete, then if they compete. And you can imagine that. So, so that we have got maybe some some uh, electronical chips, and we are these our two companies are maybe uh, Samsung and Apple. So we are Samsung, and this is Apple. And thanks to that, that we cooperate and we have got management of the prices of these chips, we are able to earn more. So. Uh, we increase the prices and we agree with our competitor that he will increase prices also. So we are able to make more money and this is unfavorable for the customer. So second point which is important here is that the competition increases uncertainty. So competition, competition increase uncertainty in the environment. Uncertainty. And of course, we would like to know what our competitor is doing so that we can adjust and feel more secure about our activities. So let's begin with, with our logic line of being formal and informal in the relationship. So here we begin with informal and here formal. Formal. And we begin at the informal side. So we can say collusions and cartels and I will draw their uh, small gaps collusion and cartels and cartels now let me change the color what is the collusion and the sorry just one s I made a small mistake the collusion is to share an information for illegal purpose so we share share information for illegal purpose or illegal and this is important word so this is illegal illegal and on the other hand in cartels we are agreeing on coordinating activities so here we coordinate activities activities and due to the fact that we are on the informal side so you can imagine meeting uh, CEOs of these two companies and that they agree okay we will coordinate these our activities and of course it will be unfavorable for the customers so that's the reason why these two informal ways of how to manage our competitive relationship why they are illegal so now let's move to, to uh, more legal sides and more interesting for us. And this is going to be the third party linkage mechanism. So the third party linkage mechanism. Linkage mechanism. 
And under under this definition or under this statement, simply imagine these our two companies. So here is the company number one, here is the company number two. And now we create some sort of, of maybe non-profit organization which is monitoring our activities. So important word is to monitor, monitor and to standardize. So to to be able to keep a standard that is required for the market standard. So just imagine, okay, we would agree that we will reveal some part of the information about our businesses of how many chips or what actions we are going to undertake. So we are able to decrease the uncertainty that is between us so that to save some costs. And now we move to, again, the most important one, and those are the strategic alliances. So strategic alliances and as you probably recognize for instance in the uh, flight carriers uh, they they always there is a star alliance so just imagine a star alliance star alliance why the companies uh, join and agree on the creation of these strategic alliances because of the second reason that is mentioned here that firms will always make more when they coordinate so that they are not maybe they agree okay we will share for instance the the loyalty program so here we can share the loyalty program and thanks to these strategic alliances maybe there are there are let's imagine 10 companies in the market one two three four five six and so on and now the the uh, there is one very strong player so this is the strongest player maybe he came with some important breakthrough and now he's totally leading the market and he's destroying our turnover so what can be our our step and our strategy now so we will join and create some strategic alliance so that we are able to compete with this great supplier and this great new player i will talk a little bit more about these strategic alliances in the next video and now I would like to move to the last point, which is, which you recognize from the last video, and it is the merger and takeover. And takeover. So that you are able, or if you are rich enough, you can simply buy out this your competitor. But again, I would highlight the important point that a monopoly is illegal. So a monopoly is illegal illegal so that if you would buy as, as this big player maybe he chooses this kind of, of strategy of takeover so he would start taking over of this company now this one and there would be just one provider left then the official government company would say okay guys you are now too monopolistic and you simply cannot do this so these were the strategies that we use when there is a competitive relationship between two companies and again we have drawn a bipolar line and we position ourselves between these two extremes. So hopefully see you in next video.